uh, movies, it feels like. They're not alive and well. They are 100% going every other way than we want them to, which is in theaters so we can see them. Uh, even today, we are catching wind that many movies were being pulled. Movies I honestly thought weren't going to happen uh, right away. And the first thing with that one, the biggest one, obviously, the one everyone's been talking about is Black Widow. Scarlett Johansson's first and maybe only solo film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe has finally been pulled, saying here that it's been released from its original window uh, amid coronavirus pandemic or the bud light virus or the uh, bud bug whatever you want to call it the beer bug I, i've heard so many different names for it. but right now it is pulled and we don't know uh when it's coming back in fact uh variety here reports disney's black widow is the latest tent pole to shift its release date because of the coronavirus pandemic the marvel superhero adventure starring scarlett johansson was slated to hit theaters on may 1st the studio also pulled the Dev Patel-led drama, The Personal History of David Copperfield from his Searchlight Banner, and Amy Adams' The Woman in the Window, a 20th century title which were supposed to debut on May 5th and April 15th, respectively. It's unclear when any of these films will be released. And I mean, like, to be fair, does anyone here care about De Dev Patel playing David Copperfield? I like Dev Patel quite a bit, to be honest with you, I do. But I don't really care about him playing David Copperfield. And Amy Adams, give me Lois Lane or give me nothing. I'm kidding. I like Amy Adams a lot too. But I mean, again, these are not movies that people out there are going to be salivating at the bits for. Right? Maybe the people who worked on them. I don't think that's fair. People who worked on them probably did. But anyway, it goes on to say here, Disney's already delayed Mulan, the New Mutants, and Antlers, but held off on post postponing Black Widow in hopes that it, would have, it wouldn't have to scrap another big film but the move was inevitable since movie theaters in multiple states, including New York, New Jersey, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Washington, have been ordered to close. Only AMC Theaters has given a timeline on how long its locations might be closed, estimating 6 to 12 weeks. 6 to 12 weeks. Three months of closure. That is going to cut into so many people's lives. I actually just spoke with my younger brother, who works for my old theater, uh, down in San Diego and I was asking him what's going on and he's like well I'm off work until the 27th so next Friday when Mulan opens I, I just didn't really have the heart to tell him when we were talking that Mulan has been pulled I feel really bad for him because this is a job that he he needs and he can't you know it, he's not going to get any compensation like his his boss is not going to give him any compensation I know that because he was also my boss for a long period of time and I had to threaten to quit in order to even get a 50 cent an hour rate. So I get that entirely get that where right now people are going to be hurting and they're going to be hurting quite a bit. And uh, these movies are, are going to have a ripple effect on a lot of things. Pulling uh, Black Widow means not only theaters get injured, but you have restaurants that aren't going to be filled up as much for date nights. People aren't going to be going out, spending money into the local economy there is a massive ripple effect. And a lot of people are seeing that right now, especially in the state of Washington, where the bars and the restaurants are closed down. I was out today making uh, food deliveries for lunch and all of the restaurant employees I talked to were all deathly frightened because their businesses have dropped exponentially because people are staying at home and they're not coming out to eat. And they are worried if they themselves will be able to make their own rent, pay their own bills, and live their own life. This is a massive, massive problem. A massive, massive pandemic issue that is, again, being heavily impacted by how people respond. And when theaters close down, which makes a lot of sense, that's where we find ourselves. It's not good. It's not great. Hopefully, it's only temporary, but only time will tell. And not only that, by the way, I did, I did want to bring this one up here. Uh, Lionsgate pulled uh, Spiral off of their release calendar for the time being, too. And that sucks. That so sucks. I want to see Spiral so bad. It looks so good. Ugh. You know, there's always going to be casualties in situations like this. There's always going to be casualties. But this is where we just find ourselves right now, is looking at this and going, yeah, well, this is how they feel that they can best save themselves uh, from, uh, from, quite frankly, 
losing a lot of money. And that actually goes back to this right here. A lot of people I've seen on Twitter today were talking about the idea of pushing, uh, you know, of just releasing uh, Black Widow. Day, you know, release it in the beginning of May on Disney Plus. Just drop it on Disney Plus. Well, here's the thing. I did the math on this. There are 28.6 million households in the United States that have Disney Plus. Roughly 10% of all households who have children have Disney Plus. As I said, it was going to happen a long time ago. This was always going to happen a long time ago. But as this whole thing plays out, that only equals $202 million a month in revenue that Disney gets off of those particular accounts. Now, granted, to any person out there, $202 million a month is nothing to scoff at. It's nothing to scoff at at all. It is what it is. But in reality, in reality, what it really is, is that like, this is just, that's not profit, it's revenue, right? And it, it, so they've still got to pay their operating costs and the billion dollar movie that would come out of Black Widow is one that, you know, they want the money on. They're just going to wait. And it does make the most amount of sense, but it could also push things in the MCU a lot further. It could push things far further down the road uh, than people are really wanting to. And like I said, this is when studios are going to have to really start dumping out what they've got, right? They're going to have to start really pumping out things that are, are getting done. Maybe maybe even before they're fully finished in the case of something like, let's say, Netflix and Disney Plus, where they will rapidly work to finish a product uh, as the weeks go on. It is something right there to consider. We don't know where life is going to take us, but we do know that it's going to be very interesting as we move towards the future.